it's beginning to look a lot like Satan. They love to worship the devil. Christmas ain't got nothing to do with Jesus. They just worship the devil. It's time to get out your Bible and notice that you are a heathen. And when you are a heathen, Christmas looks like hell. Christian influence seeped into this Viking land. Food freely and the smell of roasting meat filled the air. But it was also a time of fear and dread, for it was believed that during Yule, the spirits of the dead returned to the land of the living. As centuries passed, Yule transformed into Christmas, but the old legends and traditions were not forgotten. They evolved, they changed, but they endured. Take the Yule lads, for example, 13 mischievous spirits who would descend from the mountains 13 days before Christmas, each causing a unique brand of chaos. Today they have become Santa-like figures, leaving gifts for good children and potatoes for the naughty ones. Then there's the tale of Grela, an ogress living in the Icelandic mountains. Once feared as a child eater, she is now a part of Icelandic Christmas folklore, a character in stories told to keep children in line. In modern times, Icelandic Christmas okay, guys, is a blend so of old y'all already and new. saw that is why a lot of these people are under pressure right now by the hand of God because they have all these mythologies and these false religions and stuff like that and these false um this is Norse religion. That is a religion, you guys, and they like worship elves, dwarfs, and things like that. And that is part of the people that have a reign over your head. There's a reason why God puts so much emphasis on a sea of blood. And I also want to say that I have found these people online as your influencers. So that's who influencing you. Have a great day with that.